In about 12,000 years from now, Earth's current ice age will end. But how? How does an ice age actually end? It's not like we can just flip a switch in the atmosphere to melt all the ice, right? Well, it turns out there are natural climate fluctuations that could do the trick. And we already know what caused the last ice age to end, so we have a pretty good idea of what might happen. During an ice age, huge portions of the northern hemisphere are covered in ice sheets. These ice sheets grow when more snow falls than melts, and they shrink when more melts than freezes. Melt water from these ice sheets flows into the ocean, which can change ocean currents and temperatures. And those changes can either make more ice sheets form or melt more ice sheets, speeding up the cycle. About 11,500 years ago, as the last ice age was ending, melting ice sheets may have triggered a chain reaction that melted even more ice sheets. This in turn caused sea levels to rise which led to the flooding of low-lying areas and the formation of new ocean currents and, you guessed it, melting even more ice. But that's not the only way an ice age can end. Other factors like changes in Earth's ease orbit around the Sun can also influence how much ice is on the planet. As the northern hemisphere moves closer to the Sun, more energy is received, leading to higher temperatures and less ice. So how will the current ice age end? Well, based on what we know about past climate fluctuations, scientists predict that the current ice age will end when the northern hemisphere moves closer to the sun in its orbit. At the same time, the tilt of the Earth on its axis will decrease. Together, these two changes will bring warmer temperatures and more precipitation, which will melt the ice caps and end the ice age. But don't worry, even though we won't be around to see it, the end of an ice age doesn't mean the end of ice. In about 125,000 years from now, Earth's axis tilt will once again cause another ice age to begin. And at the end of that one, the whole cycle will probably start all over again. It's hard to imagine now, but someday in the very distant future, Maybe our descendants will be building snowmen in the streets of London or skating on the frozen Hudson River. I for one, can't wait! Thanks for watching this episode. If you like it, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And a big thank you to all of our patrons for supporting us. Without you, we wouldn't be able to make fun science videos for everyone. That's all for today. Happy learning and see you in a new video.